India, is working on an extended range of the indigenous, beyond visual range, air-to-air -air missile, Astra, which will enable it, to strike enemy targets, 160 kilometers away, without getting out of its own airspace. The DRDO expects, to complete the extension of range, that is, MK2, by May 2022. Astra, has been integrated, with Indian Air Forces, Sukhoi, Su-30 MKI, and will be integrated with, Mirage 2000, HAL Tejas, and Miko Yarn MiG-29, in the future. And the production process, by state-owned Bharat Dynamics Limited, has begun. The development comes, even as work is on to integrate, the current 110 km version, of the Astra MK-1 on board, the Indian Air Force's MiG-29. And, light combat aircraft, Tejas, MK-1, and the Indian Navy's MiG-29K, aircraft. Once, the overall integration plans are completed, the Astra, will be the standard long-range air-to-air missile, across India's entire fighter fleet, except the French origin Rafale and Mirage. As of now, with a range of over 110 km, and a maximum speed of Mach 4.5, that is, over 5,500 km per hour. The Astra Mk-1 is seen as a game-changer, which can bring back India's air-to-air -air combat superiority over Pakistan. While India now also has European developer MBDA's Meteor missiles, with the Rafale's induction, they are much more costly, with 25 crore rupees each, compared to the Astra, 7 to 8 crore rupees. For the second version of the Astra missile, called Mark II, the Defense Research and Development Organization is working on dual pulse rocket motor to extend the range up to 160 kilometers by May 2022. Work is also going on to replace the Russian radio frequency seekers on the missile with indigenous ones. At present, all subsystems except the Russian RF seeker and the inertial measurement unit are indigenous. The seekers are being indigenized by Bharat Electronics Limited, Bengaluru. The present Astra has export potential too, and will be considered for sale to friendly countries. And no production version is required to be developed separately. The present version is a platform independent design, but a few modifications may be required, as per platform interfacing and data exchange between missile and aircraft, if any changes need to be made for export. But, according to the sources, integration of the Astra missile on an aircraft needs some changes in the fighter too, within the country. And hence, the LCA, Tejas, will be a good platform to export, so that all technical expertise will be within the country.